So where the hell were we? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta be fresh. Now we got Pippi again on Flats Lagoon still. Doing some research. Going to store shit effectively. This. Iron plates. I don't really need this closed. Are there any mineral sources around here? Is there like anything I could mine for currency? Not much of a mining area. Yeah, mainly just bones and desolate wasteland. I really can't see anything within the radius I can actually explore. There's just no resource stuff. Alright, we've learned how to store some farming materials, which we don't even have a base, let alone a farm yet. So that's not really necessary. But hey, may as well knock this stuff out. It's not going to take too long. I still have all of the speed up stuff disabled. And work at a normal, normal, normal speed and enjoy the world. <laughs> Armor and weapons. Is there a reason they just stack the signs on top of each other? What's our inventory? Not really anything. We have some food left over, so we have a few days of food. Uh, our legendary Nodachi. And I know I have some stuff in here, yeah. A bit of extra dried meat. A little bit of extra food. Alright. We're gonna still have to figure out what we want to do here. We're back to normal speed. These guys are glitching out a little bit. I'm honestly not surprised that pathfinding is poor. That seems about the average. Let's see, what do we have? What might I want to get? Um, I already have a thieves backpack, which is really good. I'd want more of these. I need even more than that. That's the problem. Back level three. I need a better research bench. Ah, boy. This is where I actually break and add more mods. Or rather, one specific mod. Do I get added? Because, uh... I, I don't care about this shit. I need lots of iron plates. How many do I have? Four? Not enough. Not enough. Not enough by a long shot. I don't think you even have iron plates. You have a bunch of other shit whenever I come back. You have like research books and whatnot, but I'm going to need to go find something of actual use. Ah, oh, you seem well traveled, stranger. Fucking missing an arm and a leg. Quite literally. Enough of the fun! Uh, I wonder what my first bionic limb will be. Or prosthetic limb. We don't really have any proper ore veins or anything around here that we can utilize as a means of getting money. That's not ore, that's some ancient creature's bone. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it for us. The fuck is up with these boats? We used to be inside of the ocean in the old world. Stuff is still creepy. Cool, but creepy. All right, we're gonna see what happens. There's like fucking nothing. Not ore, that's not ore, that's not ore, that's not ore. Oh, hey. Wasn't I already over there? I'm pretty sure I was already over there. Well, let's go swimming, everyone. I'm trying to catch up with those traders. I want to be with the caravan to get out of here, but we'll see if we can catch up with them at all. Just a little dot over here. Well, at least we're going to get some swim XP. Nope. All we're doing is swimming, and this is going to take 20 years. All right, I think we still have a chance to catch up with them. Let's hope there's nothing super hostile in the way. Oh, there's some iron. All the way up this hill, great. Not very rich iron, though. 
Alright, so our house is in Flat Lagoon. There was something over here that I could mine. Give me the friggin' pickaxe symbol. Yeah, it's a hybrid group. Go follow along with the uh, hive traders. Use them as a form of defense, effectively. Wherever they decide to go. Take a casual stroll through barren wasteland. Uh, I have no fucking money. All right, don't get super attracted to me again all of a sudden. That wasn't even worth it, but I just sort of wanted to get him off my back. The Hivers want to trade. Their purpose, his purpose is to trade his entire existence. To trade, Senshi. Sort of fitting that these guys are a bunch of just unnamed caravan drones, to be honest. Wouldn't, mo wouldn't bother naming their pack beasts either. There is Flat Sagoon in the distance. I don't know where these guys are gonna go, but we're gonna speed things along. We are just going to be walking. Now, essentially my goal is to travel along with these guys, get my athletics up over time because it's still going up from walking around like this. And uh, mayhaps they'll get ambushed by something and I can profit off of it, essentially. As, as mean as it is to loot dead bodies, it's sort of what you have to do in Kenshi. If you, if you don't loot, you don't survive. None of that shit. Morality is fucking hard. Another challenge would just be being a good guy run. Like you're not allowed to take anything from, like not allowed to steal anything whatsoever from corpses, from shops, from whatever at all. Uh, you have to save all your all the slaves you know so oh, shit well there i am getting too preoccupied and whatever to notice that we're about to get attacked by alpha wolves boneyard wolf all right let's hope that we do pretty well here i'm just hitting it's just okay cool that is money good amount of money actually i mean rip alpha wolf but hey money one of these is one kilogram. One of these is one kilogram, but this occupies eight spots. Yeah, who's the fucking traitor, dude? Which one is the traitor? You alive? Yo, would you like to buy this stuff off of the Boneyard Wolves that you guys literally just killed? This is a profitable endeavor, Hivers. You want to buy all this. You can't even afford any more shit. I need those. All right, you have some decent food here, actually. I might want to get. Um, you're fucking loud. Um, what? I'm going to start carrying one of these around just in case. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. I'd rather have the food cubes. I want to use that money for more important things. Yeah, I can't even sell many more meat at this point. Why don't you have more shit that I actually want on you? Oh, you have a ration pack. I'll take that. And that's actually enough for me to finish off the upgrade to my research bench. So, with the extra money we got, we may want to start heading back to Flats Lagoon. Alright, you guys farewell. The hope is that I won't run into any wolves on the way over. I'm a little bit encumbered from all the shit that I'm carrying around now. But then I can sell the rest of my stuff at the general store in Flats Lagoon. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate swimming experience. We will swim away. Swim, swim, just keep swimming.
keep swimming. Disney copyright strike. So the reason, in case you're wondering what the hell I'm doing is hanging around Flats Lagoon so much, I want to get a certain tech called imprisonment because imprisonment means that I can utilize my Tame Beasties mod. In doing so, I'd be able to tame some of those fucking Boneyard Wolves. And that'd be pretty fucking epic, yo, having an army of those. Just would have to pick up some that are wounded outside of Flats Lagoon and uh, patch them up and toss them in a cage. Oh, I thought this was a corpse for a second. I thought I'd killed something on his way over here. Hive Exiles. Getting exiled from a hive society where your entire life is the hive. That's pretty fucking shit, yo. May not be the highest definition models and everything, but dear lord, is this game pretty. Oh, there's a th there is a thing over here. The copper, copper. That's even better. That's a way to make money. Ah. While it is still daytime, we're gonna go shopping. By that I mean selling. Alright, sell him the rest of these animal skins that I don't need. And we're going to buy... Books. But not yet. I'm gonna see how many I actually need. If possible. I might need the advanced research books. I know I'm just buying back all these books, but I need the initial money first. Nobody else bought them because randos don't want books. Oh, the hivers are in here now. They're they're hanging out inside. They're just being forced to wait outside. Because pack animals. Oop. I need two more books. That's all I need right now. And I actually don't know what I'm going to need beyond that. But we are gang research tech level two because we need it. Tech level three, sorry. And a bit more research montaging. Some fighting going on outside. More boneyard wolves. More opportunity to steal the flesh of Boneyard Wolves and sell it for profit. Yes, give me that. Money. Money, 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 money. You win it, Eminem. Him him. Gonna show it all. Okay. Pretty good position right now. And more? Ooh, is it like right here? Yeah, there they are. They're in the water. Okay. You know what? This is the one we save. I've decided. Bleed out on me, pal. Oh, yeah. We might want to just, you know, not have you drown. Ew. Hanging around the boneyard wolf is not working out too well. We're also carrying him a bit odd, you know? This one's dead, but Water Wolf will win. Water Wolf survives. Alright, once we get tech level 3. Imprisonment. That's what we want. I need one book. I have more than enough to buy it. For 5k per. Jeez. I don't really want too much else. What I'm going to do instead is take some of these maps. I want info on essentially all of that. And then the annoying part is I'm going to need some iron plates. Which I don't have at the moment. Next time a hive folk come by, I could potentially get it that way, but... Oh, I need to upgrade this. Yeah, I already need more plates. Fuck. Well, I've decided this is the dog I'm gonna save, so... 
don't really think there's much of a prison anywhere. Let's head on up here, see what they got. Uh, was one of these like police station? Ranger shop. That's range weaponry. Headgear, armor. All right. We're gonna have to learn to deal. Don't worry, shoulder dog. We'll, we'll get you through this. I have to go to the bars and stuff. Why are you holding your crossbow like a sword? Don't do that. That's not how you hold a crossbow, kids. Where are the hivers? They're not at the bar, they're at the bed and breakfast. So this will slowly train up my strength a little as well. So there's that at least. One major benefit from carrying around the wolf is that I get buffed from doing it. It'll increase my strength which increases my weight load, which reduces the amount of encumbrance I get over time from holding shit. Ashlands, a tech hunter asking questions instead of spouting stories. Now that's a first. Well, Ashlands lie to the southeast, the ultimate expedition for any tech hunting pro. You could say it's exactly because nobody ever makes it there that we crazy ones just find it all the more enticing. Apart from the Ashland drifters, of course, but they're long gone. There are three ways into it. South through the hives or southeast directly through the gorillas. Either way, we'll get a novice ripped to shreds. And the third way? East. Skirt the pits and swim in, swim it there. Thanks for the info. I just gotta wait for him to shut up so I can actually trade. Don't call it the forbidden lands for nothing. Where are the hivers? You really don't have anything good for me. Oh yeah, I need to read the maps. There we go. Map's red. Now where? Nearest Hivers. Why are you all on top of the bar like that? It's not where you're supposed to be, pals. Just a heads up. That's a bit of a no-go. I don't know where you're going. A little bit of a back alley route there. Oh, they're nomads. They're not regular Hivers. Okay. That's what these guys belong to. South through the hives or straight through the gorillas. Joy. A hard looking place. I may want to visit that later on when, you know, I don't feel like I'll die from the simplest touch of anything. In the meanwhile, though, we're going to just take some time, get our walking speed up, automated strength and athletics training. Ooh, hivers. That's what I want to see. They'll probably have enough iron plates. Maybe. Maybe. Might have most of them. Ugh, that's nothing. Gosh darn it. Can't you guys do anything right? Alright. We're gonna be stuck in Flats Lagoon for a while. From the looks of it. I'm not risking just running out into the wild when I'm unprepared. I still got the wolf with me. He is my friend. And I shall call him Wawa. And he shall be my Wawa. We hold on to Wawa for dear life. We're going to use him <laughs> as a fucking hammer to build this thing, for the looks of it. Oh, I need building material too. Hey, the music.